Star for Shiny Shiny in Tech Digest, and today I'm here with a Dell Mini Inspiron 10. Now, as you can see, I've got the rather pretty pink version, but don't worry, it comes in more masculine colours as well, so green, red, silver, all the usual kind of things. So what we have here is a netbook with a 10.1 inch screen, which is really nice and easy to read, but obviously you're not going to be able to see it very well with the camera full glare on us. It runs on Windows XP and has a quite a lot of impressive features for a netbook. Because we're used to netbooks nowadays, not having that large hard drive, kind of being a little bit fiddly with the keyboard. But this baby packs a lot in at a price, I must say, because it does weigh 1.2 kilograms, which doesn't make it the lightest of features. So it has a battery life, which it says is up to about three hours. I would say more around two hours. Not perfect, but, but you know, you can live with that. You've got three USB ports, a TV out port, and an HDMI port, which is all quite exciting. You've also got the usual kind of bells and whistles, the webcam, the wireless options, these kind of things. And because it works with XP, it loads up really quickly. I mean, it's really easy to navigate with familiar menus. Now, a couple of things about this I don't like too much. It does struggle a bit when you're playing video. It doesn't seem to work that well with a really fast action. You do get a couple of juddery bits, which is a little bit frustrating. And then you've got the keyboard as well. Um, it's quite nicely spaced, to be honest, and feels quite good to use. But it's got a couple of weird indentations around these up and down keys. You've just got these two little blocks for no apparent reason. And it also doesn't feel like there's a huge amount of separation between the keys. But they are all raised, but equally, you kind of like to have a little groove because you sort of end up pressing things and you don't mean to. But it is a nice spacious keyboard, and I really like this bezel. I realise it's a little bit chunky, but it does mean you actually get the feeling that you're working on a mini laptop rather than like a netbook. And I know that's a weird difference to say, but you, once you've used a couple, you really get the feeling when you're actually working on something and you're editing your documents. You like the feeling that you've got some weight behind it. It's got an, in, it's got an atom processing chip as well, so it loads up, up really quickly. And another curious feature is its trackpad over here. As you can see, they've integrated two buttons into it, but to use it works in a real rather odd way. It works such an odd way that you actually have to read the Dell Mini handbook so you can learn the sort of swishing movements you do with your fingers to navigate between pages. I'm using the Dell Mini Inspiron 10 touchpad and I'm now using certain touch gestures to navigate my way around this browser. So by stroking my fingers down like so, I actually move the screen. To zoom out, I do this kind of clicking feeling and to zoom in, I reverse that. Takes a little while of getting the hang of it, but there we go. To rotate, you keep the thumb in place, you move the index finger, and to go back to the main screen, you simply put all your hands like so, and all your windows disappear. But overall, the Den Mini Inspiron 10, it's a really lovely looking netbook. It, it retails for £319.99 from PC World, and it will pretty much do everything you want it to do could change the keyboard slightly, and I'm not 100% convinced I'm a trackpad, but as netbooks go, this definitely be in my top five.